Good morning. It's Wednesday and it's time for our meditation. Um, I decided this month I wanted to to kind of go around uh, Christmas carols and to uh, make my my prayers for Wednesdays around Christmas par carols and do the same thing for the meditation. And without thinking about Advent or anything, I, I came up with the first week last week, I looked at a lot of Christmas carols and I came up with, kind of just reminded me of right now, uh, the thrill of hope, the weary soul rejoices for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn from O Holy Night. And that just kind of reminded me of right now. We're all COVID weary. We're all politics weary. Um, we're, we're weary of isolation. We're weary of things not being normal. We're all weary. But we have an opportunity in the Advent season and the next four weeks going up to the celebration of Christ's birth um, to go through a process that might change things and might make you look at things a little differently and maybe with hope. Um, and I, I wrote this prayer and sent it and then I saw something that... Uh, my friend Julie had posted on Facebook. And before I read you that, I want to give you the definitions of hope. In biblical terms, it means to trust in, wait for, look for, or desire something or someone, or to expect something beneficial. Hope in scripture means a strong and confident expectation. In modern terms, it means to trust with a confident expectation. And when uh, Reverend Carla talked this last week about hope, which is that first week of Advent, I wasn't even thinking of it and it worked out really well that, that what I had thought for this week ha had actually come to fruition. And when we, uh, after the service was over and those people in fellowship, there's, there's a cadre of 12 or 15 people that come off and on. So we usually have around 10 or 11. Um, uh, we talked about Pope, but we also talked about Pope is almost always accompanied by faith. And faith basically is the assurance of things hoped for and the conviction of things not seen. That's from Hebrews 11.1. 1. Um, and it's also in, in secular terms, a strong held belief. So I think that hope goes hand in hand with faith and they both go hand in hand with trust. So I would like to read you this um, thing that Julie put the, up the other day. That some, she'd gotten it from uh, a woman named Leslie Dwight. What if 2020 isn't canceled? What if 2020 is the year we've been waiting for? A year so uncomfortable, so scary, so raw, that it finally forces us to grow. A year that screams so loud, finally waking us up from our slumber. A year we finally accept the need for change, declare change, work for change, become the change. A year we finally band together instead of pushing each other further apart. Now to me, that is something that I think comes from both hope and faith. After all we've been through, the weary world may be rejoicing. And I think, as Desmond put, Tutu put it, hope is being able to see that there is light despite all of the darkness. And we know that faith is trusting in God. So what I would like you to do this morning is to think about those words of hope and faith and trust. 
knowing that there is much good to come. So let's take a few deep breaths and go inward. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths. I would like you to think about a moment in your life where you hoped for something and you had faith that it would come to pass and you trusted in God. Just think of that moment in time and how you felt having that hope. Maybe you were a little scared, or maybe you were really determined. And how did f having faith that whatever you wanted would turn out to be how you wanted it? And think about the trust you had knowing that you were asking for the highest good. And when it was over, your hope and faith was well paid, as was your trust, but it ended up even better than you could have even imagined it. Now, let's put that same feeling of hope and trust into the now moment. Kind of like a child on Christmas morning. You're really excited. You know something's coming. You don't know what it is, but you know it will be good. And that's what I want you to think about. Our future. Here on planet Earth. here in the world, here in the United States, here in California, here in San Diego County, and here at Unity San Diego. Knowing that things have been different and we have survived the change, think of all the positive things you can think of that will come out of this. Putting your hope and your faith and knowing, knowing you will be surrounded by God's light and love as you hope and trust in the future and what it will bring knowing that we are awakening to something bigger than we can imagine. We just need to be patient. Let us take a few moments just to think about that. Think about the wondrous feeling of hope and faith and trust. And the knowing of the future is ours just exactly how spirit or God wanted it to be in our lives.
as we slowly return to the now moment. I want you to capture that feeling of expectancy. The expectancy of Christmas Eve or Christmas morning. And what you'll find. The expectancy of knowing that hope and faith will be well rewarded. Come back to the now moment. This hasn't been a fun time for any of us. It's been difficult in different ways for each of us. Um, the isolation from family and friends and people at church and going to church um, hasn't been easy. But we've come up with other ways to fulfill our needs Maybe just not in the same way. And I think of, of my own life. It started out a year, this year, really bumpy. There were some big issues with my family that didn't look like they'd ever be solvable. And as it turned out, it was probably the best thing that ever happened. Um, we all have a greater level of understanding of past events and where we're going in the future. And if you told me in January or February, I would be looking back at this and smiling, I would have told you you were out of your mind. But I know now that God is opening a new door in our lives with this. And we need to trust. And we need to have hope. And we need to have faith that Everything is working together for good. So I have a few affirmations for you, for you to think about this week. The thrill of hope is mine to recognize and align with. The thrill of hope is mine to recognize and align with. The thrill of hope is mine to recognize and align with. I center my mind on faith in God. I center my mind on faith in God. I center my mind on faith in God. And the last one basically is an act of trust, knowing that whatever is unfolding is meant to be. Divine order is always unfolding in my life. Divine order is always unfolding in my life. Divine order is always unfolding in my life. Many of us have unanswered questions about what's going on and about the time that we're living in. And faith is about trusting God during that process as these answers are revealed. So go forth today and have a wonderful day and have hope and faith and trust that all the good will be revealed and that what we've gone through is all worth it. We will have a greater appreciation for what was normal we will have a greater appreciation for each other, for our loved ones, for our friends. It is a greater appreciation of life that we probably will get out of this. I believe that's, for me, that is what it is. So I want you to have a wonderful day.